I would like to invite you all to come along with me on a journey. What's up, friends? If you're like me and you are a big fan of The Office, get excited, because Steve Carell's coming to Netflix with a new show called Space Force, and here's everything we know about it right now on The Ketchup. That's what she said. Netflix recently released the first images for Space Force, which was created by Steve Carell, who also co-produces and stars in it, and Greg Daniels, best known as creator of the US version of The Office and co-creator of Parks and Recreation. I have goosebumps, feel. The show is inspired by the real world military branch created recently by President Donald Trump, and it revolves around Steve's character, General Mark Arnaird, who uproots his family and heads to a remote military base in Colorado after being asked to lead a new sixth branch of the US military called the Space Force. And spoiler alert, Toby isn't in this one, so you know it's gonna be good. There he finds himself dealing with a colorful team of scientists to try and meet various goals set by the White House. And while it will be filmed as a workplace sitcom, no word yet on if there will be interview segments as made famous by shows like The Office and Modern Family. People are gonna see this and say, that guy's high. Much like The Office, though, Carell will be surrounded by an impressive ensemble cast, starting with the two-time Oscar nominee John Malkovich as Dr. Adrian Mallory, the head science advisor, and it was confirmed recently that Lisa Kudrow will have a recurring role as Maggie Naird, the wife of Carell's character, and she's described as someone who's been dedicated to her husband's career for two decades, but is now growing in a different direction. I cannot wait to see those two together. Oh no, have I said too much? Also starring will be the Americans Noah Emmerich as Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, Fred Willard as Steve Carell's father, and Parks and Rec's Ben Schwartz as a media consultant named F. Tony Scatapaducci. Sorry, too much Sopranos during quarantine. You got him right here. Leave a message after the beat. Other actors you'll see include Brock Myers' Tawny Newsom as a helicopter pilot, Booksmart's Diana Silvers as Carell's daughter, and Jessica St. Clair from another recent space comedy, Avenue 5, playing a civilian contractor. Plus, for fans of Silicon Valley, Jimmy O. Yang, aka Jin Yang, will have a recurring role as well. I am a very rich. And keep an eye out for Mark Steger, known for his villainous roles like the Demogorgon on Stranger Things, who is listed as playing the role of Strange Alien. Sounds like a good fit. So it is unclear how much the show will pull from real life, but after the real Space Force tweeted out a first look at its uniforms and was mocked by many for being camouflaged, the show was quick to poke fun with a tweet revealing its own uniforms, which honestly do make a bit more sense. Shooting wrapped in January on the 10 episode first season with the show scheduled to premiere on Netflix on star date May 29th. So mark those calendarios. Don't worry, that cosmonaut is fine. All right, friends, it's time for us to kick it over to you now. Are you excited for Space Wars? How do you think it will compare to other shows like The Office and Parks and Recreation? Let us know your feelings in the comment section and be sure to stay tuned to RottenTomatoes.com for more streaming news and binge guides. And be sure to join our Catch Up fan group on Facebook so you can connect with other fans at home and get ideas on what to watch like Christopher did recently. And if you don't want to miss out on any future episodes of the show, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. As always, thank you guys so much for watching The Catch Up. My name's Nasa Perez, and we'll see you guys next time.